like and subscribe or else the spider will crawl on you while you're sleeping. But what is it that you are so angry about? What are you punishing yourself for so much? What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. This guy has been getting turned a little too often, and let's just say when he does, he becomes an absolute monster to his family. So they're looking for any help from Dr. Phil today to see if we can get him on the right track. Let's see if we can get him any help, but without further ado, we're just gonna get into it and see what's been going on with this guy. Lonnie emailed me multiple times, not just once, but multiple times, saying her fiance, Dustin, goes from sweet to furious in the blink of an eye. So it sounds like this has been a routine thing where this guy practically freaks out at nothing and just drinks to the point where he becomes a jerk to everybody in his family, including Dr. Phil and his producers. You'll see that later on and everyone's just sick of it. So, I mean, I would be too. I mean, you're an adult. You should be able to control yourself and not turn into the worst version of you every single day over and over. But apparently, you know, this guy has a hard time with not doing that. So hopefully this was the right move for his family to make by asking him to come on this show and we'll see him get some help today calling her stupid worthless ugly and much worse now his family questions why she stays wow he really sounds like a piece of work i mean you can already tell how much he's brought this poor woman through in their relationship i mean just so far because she's sitting here crying on stage thinking of all the mean things he has possibly said to her in the past and i really hope for the sake of their family that she can find a way to work through this or just up and leave him which kind of seems like the right move at this point but you'll see why i say that later on there's a lot more we're going to get into if the own guy's family is confused at why you're staying with him that might just make it pretty bad i mean usually they would have their own family member back but right now all in all they probably just see how badly he treats her and they just want what's best for this woman and at this point if nothing changes with him that means they should probably break up may last year you said if i cared about you i'd probably be nice and actually want to do things with you i figured you already knew after four years Okay, this is the worst part. So there's mean people out there for sure, obviously, but then there's people who are extra mean and become even meaner when they are under the influence of something. So in this guy's case, he literally gets wasted every single day and starts to say the meanest possible things to his girlfriend just to hurt her. Literally, read this text over again and like, why would he feel the need to say any of this? That sounds like something an elementary schooler would say to their crush. Like, why did he hit send on this text? What could she have possibly done that warranted such an odd and specific mean jab at her? I really just don't get how she's sticking around with this either, but I'm sure we'll find out why. Do you even remember saying that? No. So at the time, you don't remember the moment, the time when you said that. That's so the worst part about this guy is that he gets the same fake defense that every drinker has, and that's where they can claim that, you know, they black out and don't know what they said or did after the fact. So now he feels like that wasn't him, and he doesn't need to have any personal responsibility in this. He can just claim, wow, I was so lit, like low-key, I don't even remember sending that text to her. <laughs> like, that's just so messed up, dude. You should be apologizing instead and not skirting around it by acting like you were simply joking or just didn't know what you were doing like i don't buy that at all so dr phil takes some time to pull up a bit of an infographic right here and who knows how accurate these numbers are but apparently they are all submitted by the guy himself based off of what he said in interviews with them as well as interviews with his girlfriend and his family so if these numbers are even true this man is truly a giant scumbag and i don't understand why his girlfriend puts up with any of this even that final stat is insane like why is this loser messaging up to 500 different women how is that not the final straw right there and besides the fact that this guy guy is pounding back 60 brewskis a day on the weekend. Oh, how does he even afford that if he can't keep a job? Like, that is wild. He, he can't be drinking 30 beers, right? He can't be drinking 40 beers. He's telling you he is. I, what I meant by that, I, I didn't think he would be, be thinking. Here's another big part of the problem here, and that is his father. This guy is a classic grade A enabler in every sense of the word. He even tries to back up his son when there is about a thousand pieces of indisputable evidence against him that all point to him actually being as big of a drunk as he says, and that he does nothing good for his family at all. According to the dad, he expected something was afoot, but doesn't think it's as bad as everyone thinks, including his own son. Like, why would his son be lying to him about drinking that heavy? Like, there would be no point in him scaring you like that. He is talking to you about this as a man because deep down he needs help and wants you to recognize that. I swear age does not equal smarts because I see people like this who are total morons about certain things and they're old so I mean that clearly means that he still doesn't have it all figured out. You gotta be there for your son and make him into a man right now since he's kind of failing at that and as a father I think the dad just wanted to be his friend more than his father. He got a 30 pack on a Friday mm -hmm. night it was mm -hmm. gone Saturday afternoon he went back and got 18 more now my math is 48. That's correct. In a 24 hour That's period correct. here. 
That's so according right. to the dad, there's, quote, no way that his son is able to down 50 plus beers on the weekend or else he'd be 300 pounds. You know, I guess that kind of makes sense. But again, why would your own son be inflating these numbers unless he really actually needed your help? Regardless, you got to know that he's still ingesting way more than he needs to. And in turn, it's just become a giant, insanely annoying jerk to his girlfriend and tearing his family apart. I just don't get how the dad is so hung up on this and trying to help his son and aid in his defense, even though I don't think his son wants that. This guy probably wants his dad to have his back and you know be a tough parent when he needs to be then the ride from the airport to the shoot marlene asked for a beer for dustin i said we have a situation oh man the parents are calling in reinforcements and asking for dr phil's showrunners and personal assistants to help get their son beer throughout the time that they're in la to film this how can you possibly say you don't have a problem and then you have your parents have to do that this whole time and also how can you support and enable your son like that and then still be ignorant to the fact that you are in fact enabling him it blows my mind dude like both of these parents are so out of touch with reality they think they are helping but that couldn't be further from the truth they're just avoiding the problem for themselves so that someone else can handle it and that is just not a cool move the mom is at least somewhat, you know, kind of has a head on her shoulders since she has pleaded with his girlfriend multiple times to leave him and take the kid they have since he clearly isn't improving and doesn't want to be a good father or husband, or I guess not husband yet to this woman. But none of that matters when she is enabling him on the way down there. I'll make Dr. Phil and his crew look like idiots. That's not <laughs> Well, I'm here. Go ahead. I know. So he even has the audacity to start freaking out about how he's been portrayed in this show since apparently they show the segments before they're on stage in some cases and he was not feeling this at all since I mean I'm not gonna lie he definitely does not look good at all in this but it's necessary that the audience has shown the situation unbiased and if you're looking like the bad guy maybe you just are in the situation you know it's like the old saying goes if you go everywhere and it smells like crap maybe check your shoes needless to say this guy needs to get a whole new pair of shoes after the way he's been acting then Monday you're drunk texting the, the production assistant saying, this is nothing but lies, the show is a joke. Imagine getting a job as a personal assistant on this show and you're so hype about it, but then you gotta deal with the BS like this guy who texts you at 3 a.m. with lies talking about his hotel room's water being shut off and how he's basically being held like a captive by you and your show. Dude, I know the budget for this show is insane after how massive it has become. I bet this whole family was able to get first class flights down there and was kept in very nice hotel rooms throughout this process. It was nowhere near as bad as how he made it sound. He was just being a complainer and salty at how bad they made him look, even though he said all this stuff. Well, Lonnie and Dustin are engaged, but have called off the wedding twice already. She says Dustin can be loving, but then he has a scary side. This is literally the most dysfunctional relationship ever, dude. This poor woman has called off their marriage twice and he just isn't getting the message, mainly because he knows she's gonna stick with him and she doesn't ever go through on her threats of leaving him. The saddest part is she is so insecure and doesn't know how to live her life without him at this point to where she doesn't even entertain the idea of leaving him, like I said, even though his own mom is begging her to leave him every single day when he freaks out and just starts, you know, drinking himself into abyss. Everyone in the world can see how undeserving this guy is of his family currently and with how mean he is to her and their daughter if he doesn't change she might have to really leave him to show that she is serious this whole situation is just so messy what are you punishing yourself for so much my life choices where i'm at today i'm not happy with as obvious as this was, at least this guy is capable of seeing why he does this stuff. You know, most people don't even admit that they have a problem in the first place, so that's a huge step for him right there. He claims that he isn't where he is expected to be at life at this age, and that's kind of led him down this road where he instead just punishes himself for his shortcomings every single day by sipping himself to sleep pretty much. And I understand that is a big reason for him doing this, but come on man, you have a daughter to look after, and someone that for some reason really wants to marry you and spend the rest of their life with you. The fact that he can't see what he has right now now and conquer this shows that he needs some serious help at this point and him relying on himself to make this happen is just not gonna work he's never gonna make this change by himself why do you think you're not figuring it out I don't I'll tell you why I know because yeah. you don't want it that bad Wow, and that's some facts from Mr. Mike over here who was on the show a lot recently. I still think he's gonna get his own spinoff once Dr. Phil retires. But besides that, what he said was so true right here. This guy truly acts like he wants to get help and is on here to appease his family, but regardless, he just doesn't want it bad enough if he's still demanding drinks while he's here in LA. I know that sounds harsh, but like I said earlier, this guy is legitimately a father of a young kid and that kid needs him right now, especially in her young age. So the fact that he can't step up to the plate and at least cut down on his drinking a little bit shows that he is 
really not ready to solve this problem or the fact that it's not even a problem for him at this point and he doesn't ever want to stop even though everyone else in his family wants him to. So overall I really hope this guy can find it within himself to get help. It seems like he's still on the road to recovery and has a long way to go but it was a pretty big move for him to appear on this show and like I said I just don't think it was enough. Let me know what you guys thought of this one down in the comments below. It's sad that he was kind of faking it this whole time but I'm glad Mike was able to call it out and regardless this was a very interesting episode. As always I'll see you guys in the next video and until then peace out.